The athletic skills model is based on the approach that body and mind form one unity, as a complex, adaptive system. The basics of this model is informed by the combination of theoretical ideas from ecological dynamics, key scientific findings, and experimental knowledge from extensive practice in high-performance sport. The athletic skills model program introduces the following development framework. First, the child needs to become a versatile good mover that movement associates with fun. Subsequently, she he will develop into an athlete. As an athlete the child will specialize in one sport, and, will finally develop into the absolute specialist within this sport. So, the key of the model is, first become an athlete, only then specialize as an athlete. This sequence is not fixed by age, but more or less to skills required for the future aim, which can include becoming an elite or recreational athlete. By designing how task, individual, and environmental constraints interact, situations can be created that support adaptability and creativity of the performer because they require a search for useful movement solutions that solve the motor problem at hand. When manipulating constraints, the coordination pattern is influenced without any instruction and, in some cases, this can lead to new and highly functional behavior. In this respect, creative solution that results in adaptive actions can emerge without that necessarily being the aim of the individual, the learner is simply aiming to succeed at the task. In other words, by creating or setting limits you can expand your performance limit. With this constraint-led perspective, the coach or teacher can mark and limit the environment in such a way that this guides the learning. For instance by scaling the equipment and play area a subconscious mode of learning will be encouraged. Scaling the environment allows children to perform actions that resemble the adult game while maintaining the learning focus on what is fundamentally necessary for skilled performance, being adaptive during gameplay. Scaling constraints also increase the opportunity to discover, creativity, and learn, adapt, the technique relevant to the athlete's individual constraints. This is in contrast with providing verbal instructions, which direct an individual learner towards the execution of some presupposed movement. Further, the practitioner can stimulate movement stability by designing constraints where athletes can undertake repetition with variation during gameplay an eminently more enjoyable context for skills development than prescribed drills. This will help the athlete to come to solutions that work best for them and it will stimulate and support adaptability by exposing them to broader range of circumstances under which the same task goal needs to be met. The athletic skills model program takes care of this key idea by introducing new forms of learning in addition to using well-known motor learning methods which promote variation between sports, as well as within a specific sport. Within the model program the various for forms of learning, like implicit, analogy, errorless, differential learning are bridged by using a concentric approach. The ability to adaptively and flexibly modify movement behavior is a key component contributing to the varied repertoire of skilled actions. This is where the concept of multi and donor sports comes into play. It is already well known and suggested that practicing multisports is beneficial for health and social reasons but, also for developing better performance in a target sport. It may lead to numerous positive growth and developmental opportunities. However, similarities between sports are so often much greater than the differences. There is transfer of learning of the same basic movement skills, between different sports as well as within the same sport. Donor sports refer to sports or activities that are selected to contribute to performance in the chosen target sport that consists of the same basic movement skills. This means that practicing a donor sport will contribute to elements of the target sport and thus your expertise level in that particular sport. Recent research supports this donor sport idea and shows a positive transfer for climbing from one environment to another one and from futsal to football.